Now, the man in charge of making the trains run on time at the IMS, so to speak, is Lin Jianhai. He is the fund secretary and head of the its International Financial and Monetary Committee. Lin serves as the point person for all 188 member countries on institutional matters. It's a hefty job at a challenging time. Earlier, he told me how this meeting is further proof of the growing role of the IMF and how it has that on the global economic stage. Yes, three meetings started in 1973, uh, relatively small scale, about 2,000 people. At that time, we only had 128 member countries. Now we have 188 member countries. So in IMF alone, for example, we are organizing this week 350 meetings altogether, big and small altogether. How would you define success at the end of this week? How, what will be a successful session for you? This meeting, uh, we focus on jobs and growth. Uh, as you know, that world economic conditions have improved, but risks and difficulties remain. And uh, so in recent days, we call this called the three-speed recovery. In emerging markets, things are looking pretty good. Growth is very strong. In US, you know, recovery is just underway. In euro area, recovery is weak and we are expecting a negative, small negative still this year. Japan is somewhere between the US and the Europe. So that's the overall picture of the, in the global economic conditions. And uh, in my view, I call it called one low and two highs. Low growth rate, high unemployment, and a high debt burdens. So therefore, this gathering of the global economic decision makers at the highest level is basically to discuss policy response to address all these three challenges, three difficulties. What about the, uh, the fragile nature of things in terms of globalization? I mean, we see things happen in the Eurozone. It spirals over here to the US. Just this week, China comes out. The growth numbers aren't what everyone expected. You see the results in the stock market here. When will we see some kind of level footing, do you think? The world has become far more integrated, as you know, or we call it interconnected today than say 20, 10, 20, 30 years ago. So therefore, spillover effect, indeed, is felt everywhere. Policy makers in one country, in one region, and the impact will be felt else, elsewhere. So that's the reality we're facing. And that itself, I, in my view, provides opportunities, but also challenges. OK, so do, <laughs> that was going to be my next question. So you walked right into it. What are the opportunities, and what are the challenges? Opportunities is the global market, you know, become, it, it is going to be a very big market, right, in one market setting, where people do a lot of business together. You know, communication become, you know, very fast and very rapid. For example, the Facebook, as you know, the, I, I was told the number of users now reach more than uh, a, a billion. And uh, Twitter has exceeded, you know, about 500 million. Even the Chinese Weibo, the usage is about uh, five, uh, you know, 500 million people. So therefore, information now is very rapid. So this, that provides a lot of opportunities for people to do business and to talk to each other very rapidly, very quickly, and very often. Now, that's also a challenge because people expect something to happen very quickly, including policy making process. So that's some challenge we have to handle. Let me ask you about the Eurozone because you brought it up. Um, I, I, we just spoke to the Greek ambassador here just a few days ago where unemployment is 27% for the youth. It's, it's almost in the neighborhood of 60%. What can be done in the Eurozone to, to help these struggling countries? In the short term, I think the policy focus should be on how to address the remaining risks, difficulties from the crisis. In a relative uh, run, the key issue, in my view, needs to be focused on how to basically bring debt down. And secondly, how to boost demand and also growth in a, sustain, in, in a sustained way. So that requires a lot of structural changes, labor market, product market, and other areas. 